Hey guys, welcome back to GeForce Performance. Today I'm going to be talking about our LS Cam Bearing Install Toolkit. Um, this is our pro version, which includes the Cam Bearing Install Tool, as well as our um, Cam Bearing Bore Extender, which helps out on that last cam bearing. Um, first, I'm going to show you how to assemble the uh, cam bearing bore extender. Uh, and then I'll show you how this thing works. So the cam bearing bore extender comes disassembled uh, for ease of shipping, but it's very easy to put together. All you'll need is a crescent wrench and a hammer. Our inner and outer plates are laser etched with in. So we know that those are going to face inward. Our flanges on our um, pieces that go in between the front and back plate are going to be facing out and the G-Force logo is going to be readable from the outside. We're going to slide these in here. And all three of these plates, the larger ones, are the same. So as long as we have our flanges facing outward, they are good. And it's pretty tight tolerances on these slots, so um, it might take you a couple of tries to line them up. But um, Next, we're going to take our crescent wrench and we're going to start bending these over. We're going to bend them outward. Just get them started. Then we're going to take our hammer. We're going to pound these over. Ideally, you're going to be doing this on a workbench. All right, so once we have all the one side assembled, we're going to take the other plate and make sure that it says in going inside. And we're going to make sure that the in lines up with the in on the other side. Bend the tabs outward. Okay. Now that the cam bore extender is assembled, I can show you how these two are used together. Okay, so I'm gonna explain our cam bearing install tool as well as our um, cam bearing bore extender. Um, if you've never done cam bearings, this might look a little foreign to you. But essentially, um, and I'm going to show you on one of our mock-up blocks, uh, just for illustration purposes, but um, an LS block has five cam bores throughout the length of the block. And sometimes your cam bearings do go bad, so you need to change them. So the way to do that is you have to pound the old ones out, and then you have to pound the new ones in. But if you don't have a good way to center those bearings when you're pounding them in, they can go in crooked. Um, so that's where this tool comes in handy. Um, this tool has a very long shaft that goes the whole length of the engine, and it has a cone on it here that's used for centering. So what you do to install the rearward bearings is that you would stick this through the front and then use this cone on the frontmost um, cam bearing bore, and it centers everything so that you can pound your um, furthest cam bearings in. So you're going to be nice and centered for the last one, and then the other uh, three up until the last one in the front. Now, a problem that we've seen, if you, can't, if you don't have access to the rear of the engine to come in the other way with this tool, um, you can't, there's nothing to center your tool on. So some guys are just eyeballing it and pounding them in, and then they put their cam in and the cam doesn't rotate because it's in crooked. So that's why we designed this patent pending cam bearing bore extender. Um, pretty simple design, but it bolts to the front of the engine here. And it extends that bore outward so that your cone has something to align on. That way you can pound that last bearing in straight. So it makes the, the install easy and it ensures that you're getting those cam bearings uh, pounded in straight. So if you want to learn more about this pro kit, check out our website at crossmembers.com. Thanks for watching.